world is in a state of evolution. And what I mean by evolution is not a physical evolution. Humans are not going to change into something different. Uh, the same cockroach has been here for 300 million years is, is not is not changing in anything else. The evolution that we're really uh, experiencing now is an evolution in consciousness. A consciousness that has in the past separated us as individuals. A consciousness that has been programmed with a belief that life is a struggle and that we're out here uh, to survive. We have to be in competition with each other and undercut and undermine. And we were acting as individuals looking for our own individual power. But in today's world, there's a new understanding that the evolution is an evolution of consciousness, an evolution of an expansion of we are more than just these physical entities, that there is an energy involved. And when people talk about energy, I say, well, what's that? And they say, well, it's invisible. And it's like, well, quantum mechanics was very difficult for people to understand. But if I give it to you in a very simple understanding, it is this. In Newtonian physics, the conventional ones that most people have learned, atoms are physical particles, like little granules. And that was fine because it said, oh, there's a material world made out of little particles and granules and an invisible world like energy. And that the two never mixed. So if you want to understand life, just study the particles. And that's what medicine has done. It's studied the cells and the chemistry and all that. But in 1925, physicists came to another understanding because they said, so what are those particles made out of you called atoms? And they went inside and they found there were smaller so-called particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons, but that still wasn't the quest because what are they made out of? And that's when the world changed because when quantum physicists started to say, what is an electron or a proton or a neutron made out of? It's made out of energy, not physical, no substance. An atom is like a nano tornado, a spinning force field. And I say, well, why is this relevant? Because there's an illusion that we are physical entities. And it's illusion because what happens is light, photons from sun or lamps or whatever, hit our surface of the energy and bounces back. So when you see me sitting right here, you're not seeing me. You're seeing a veneer of photons hitting me and bouncing off. And I say, so what's underneath this veneer? And I say, well, that's the quantum physics that says you're an energy field. And I go, so what the heck difference does that make? And I go, well, here's the interesting part. Particles, I can separate. Here's a particle, here's a particle. Let's talk about one particle. And you can do that. But I say, what about energy? I say, well, energy just mixes all together. I'm sitting in a field of energy right now. There's energy from the sun. There's energy from cell phones. There's energy from television broadcasts. There's energy from radio broadcasts. I say, well, what does that mean? I say, I can't separate them. There's no, like, particles, one separate from the other. Energy, it, it just is all mixed together. It's one harmonious thing. So if I'm made out of energy, which I am, does it mean that the edge of my energy stops right here? And the answer is no. In quantum mechanics, I'm an energy field. Wherever I go, I'm like a broadcast, broadcasting an energy. I say, why is that relevant? Because wherever you are right now, you're broadcasting energy. And I say, well, why is that relevant? We're not physically together at all. But your energy is in the field just as much as a cell phone is in the field. My energy is in the field. And all of a sudden it says, well, wait a minute. We're all connected. Why? Because you cannot separate the energy. And so in a Newtonian world we grew up with, this is separate from this and that's separate from this. And I go, in a quantum mechanical world, nothing is separate. Everything is an energy field with no borders to it. So what I do in my world is not just what I do in my world. What I do in my world is broadcast to everything else. So quantum physics is coming in saying, yes, we're energy, but it also emphasizes the role of the energy. And the energy that we live in is called the field. And through the world that we have been growing up in, a world based that there's a matter world and an energy world, but the two don't mix, then we talk about, well, your health is really a reflection of the matter and the material, and not relevant to the energy. But quantum physics in 1925 came in and said, oh my God, that was so completely wrong. It's the energy that is influencing the matter. And in fact, my hero, Albert Einstein, had a very simple and most profound quote. 
He talks about the energy, and in physics, they call it the field. And the quote was very simple. He said, the field is the sole governing agency of the particle, matter. The invisible energy is the sole governing agency of us as physical particles. And why is that relevant? Because we've been programmed not to even entertain the existence of the field, and it is what is shaping us. So the wake-up call now is, yeah, listen to people, fine, but feel. Feel it, people. Feel where you are. Feel, is this what I want to do? Do I want to do this or I want to do that? I say, you can ask your head and rationalize anything. But I say, don't ask the question of your head. Ask the question of your heart. Your heart is the monitor of the vibration. Your heart will give you an answer more accurate about anything in your world than your rational thinking will.